Welcome back. We're looking at the divisibility between 3 to the x minus 2 to the x and 2 to the k minus 3 to the x, trying to prove it's never going to be an integer, which would prove there's never going to be a circuit loop for the 3n plus 1 problem. We've been investigating the prime factors of those expressions. For example, we saw how the factors of 2 to the k minus 3 to the x radiate out in a pattern of sunbeams. So, for example, the 37 in cell 33 gets inherited by cells 6, 6, and 9, 9, and so on. So where else does something like 37 appear in this chart? Let's look at that by going through all the prime factors, starting with 5. OK, here's all the places where 5 appears as a factor. It's pretty regular, you can see. So um, once we get all these down, can we rule out all these circuits? No, we can only rule out the ones where 5 is a spoiler for 3 to the x minus 2 to the x. Uh, so let's remove these rows. OK, now uh, there can't be any circuit shaped like any of these combinations of x and k minus x. Now let's look at where 7 appears. OK, it's also pretty regular. And after we remove this row where 7's not a spoiler, then it turns out we've ruled out more circuit loops. How about 11 and 13? Looks like there's a few 11s and 13s here and there. And we only put down a block. Uh, if it's a spoiler. Okay, so we've ruled out a lot of uh, circuits using this method. Um, let's look at some charts showing the patterns of these prime factors more clearly. So everyone's got a pretty cool crisscross pattern. So sometimes it looks like a bunch of parallel lines going this way, and sometimes it looks like the lines are going that way. And also, what's inside the black box here for each prime factor uh, repeats over and over for all infinity. So that's a nice repeated pattern. It doesn't just, uh, you know, it's not just chaos uh, where the number 11 appears forever and ever. It's a little bit weird looking, but that weirdness repeats itself. And we can say that for any prime p, uh, it uh, appears over and over in this repeating p minus 1 times p minus 1 block. And overall, the factor appears in 1 out of every p minus 1 cells. And notice that inside 5 and 7, the black box uh, breaks down to, into even smaller shaped repeated tiles. OK, let's go back to the chart. So we did 5, 7, 11, and 13. If we kept going with all the primes, would we eventually cover every cell? Seems like we would, except remember, we only add a block if the factor is a spoiler. So there could be some cell out there where none of the factors are spoilers. They all appear in 3 to the x minus 2 to the x. Uh, then we'd have found a genuine circuit loop. OK, so let's keep digging and see what we find. 